So welcome to Digital Communications. Um, let's write this here down first. Digital Communications. So why is this a good thing compared to analog communications? So let's start first looking at analog communications. and their disadvantages just to have a motivation why why this is motivation why this is a good thing so let's say we have a microphone here so the one I'm speaking just now in um, and then we have a transmitter just in the old style, like a FM or AM radio, that's our aerial. Then this transmits this here via a channel, radio frequencies usually, to a receiver. And then we've got a loudspeaker here. So, so the question is now, so why is this not optimal so why why are there problems so imagine we are transmitting a signal here let's call this here tx of t and this and this signal looks quite pulse like let's say you would like to transmit something like that on the receiver side, of course, we have an analog transmission system. This will never exactly look the same. So on the receiver side, it will probably look maybe like that. Yeah, so slightly degraded. So let's um, call this heading here. signal degradation so imagine we have our our transmitter and our receiver quite close by then the then the received signal we are getting out here at this point here so if we call this rx of t This will probably still look like our piles what we had here sent in. And so so now let's let's just imagine this is here further further apart. So our receiver is here and then we've got again an Rx of T. But now that's a bit further away. So then what we're expecting here that we have something like a very washed out hump. Yeah, so so the further we go away, the um, more this will be degraded here. So now in a digital system, what we would like to have is we would like to transmit that pulse here and we would like to have always at the output here this pulse irrespective of the distance. So the motivation for 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 digital is so that we have um, ideally no degradation. of of the data transmitted so no degradation at all another motivation is that obviously because a digital system digital system 
is much more flexible. And the digital system can be easy be reconfigured. And um, finally, it's also usually more, much more reliable. Okay, so this motivates us to work with a digital system instead of an analog system. And um, so now we need to look further how we actually achieve that.